directed by Christopher Nolan and it stars mainly Fionn Whitehead, Tom Hardy, and Mark Rylance. I'll get to that a little bit later. But this is the true life story of these British and French forces that were pushed into the beach of Dunkirk and were trapped by the, the German forces in World War II era. And they, they had no way of escaping. And then all of a sudden, when there was no way to get home, they were so close to home, there was no way to get there. All of a sudden, home came for them. So this is the, the rescue, basically, of Dunkirk. It's not so much the battle, more of the rescue of the, the, the whole thing of Dunkirk. So this is a movie that I was super excited for, obviously, because Christopher Nolan is one of the best directors that we have today. I love every single one of his movies. And I, 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 like, I, I was excited for this movie based just on him being the director. Like, the trailers didn't exactly wow me. I wasn't, like, too excited because of the trailers. I was mostly excited because this is a Christopher Nolan movie, and he never disappoints. And let me just get this out of the way right now. I wasn't so much disappointed with this movie. I just didn't love it as much as I wanted to. So here's what I'll say about this movie. It looks fantastic. He, Christopher Nolan is uh, obviously one of the best directors, and he, it is for a reason, because... He shoots movies in such a visceral way. Everything looks so realistic, and everything looks realistic because it is realistic. He uses real, like, planes and ships and, like, real, like, locations and everything. So everything in this movie is real, and it feels gritty, and it feels exactly how it would feel. And that's exactly what he was going for. He's going for this take on this war film that is very realistic, and it's... It's supposed to make you feel like you're there, and you do, and especially the, the, the plane sequences with Tom Hardy and everything. Things are, you feel like you're there, and you feel like you're trapped, and you're, you're on the edge of your seat a lot of this movie because it's very tense, and it's very well directed, and it looks beautiful, and the acting, I would say, is very well done. There's no bad acting in this movie, but there are definitely some standout performances and some other ones that kind of fall in the background. For, for the most part, like I said, the three main characters of this movie, Tom Hardy, Mark Rylance, and Fiona Whitehead, those are the three main characters that we follow in this movie. And th main characters is a loose term I'm using here because you don't exactly get to know these people. They're just kind of the, the thing that we see most of all in this movie. Tom Hardy is a pilot. Mark Rylance, he, he, he's, he's a, uh, a person that has nothing to do with the war, but he's coming to rescue the people at Dunkirk. He, he's just a, a civilian, and he's coming to rescue him in his, his, his boat, basically. And um, uh, uh, Fionn Wright, Whitehead, he's, he, he's a soldier. So you're following these three people, and you're seeing the different points of view, and it cuts back and forth. And here's what I'll say that I didn't love so much about this movie, is that it has a very Christopher Nolan style to it, which you would think that was a, an amazing thing, but I feel like it didn't work that well for this movie, because it kind of cuts in between things and signature non-linear style to it. So basically, you'll see something and then you'll see it again a little bit later from a different point of view. And I, I feel like for this movie, at points, it really made the movie feel like surprising, but at other points it made it feel very confusing. So there's lots of points in this movie where you kind of don't know what's going on because you're like, did I already see that? Oh, is this a new thing? What time of day is it? Who is this? Who am I following? And you're, you're a little bit confused. At least I was. I feel like this movie really could have used a little bit more depth for these main characters. And I feel like he was going for a very, just like, you're, you want to feel like you're these people. So you don't want to know too much about them. You just want to feel like you're in, this, you're in the position and you're going through these things. And he does a great job of doing that. But I feel like the movie would have been a little bit better if he would have just given us more details of these main characters, if he would have just let us dive into them a little bit and root it for them, because a lot of times you don't really know what's going on and you feel like you want to root for somebody to get out, and you are rooting for them to get out, but you're not so much into it as you want to be. At least I was, and I, I, I feel like this movie, he, he was striving to just go for the feel of war and, and, and the, the, just the feeling of this battle and the overall feeling of it. I feel like he did a good job with it. But I just couldn't connect to it as much as I wanted to. And look, I, 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 I'm not so much disappointed with this movie. Like I said, I, I, I like this movie. I think this is a very good movie. I just don't think it's great. I don't love the movie. And in of that itself, I'm a little bit disappointed by that because I want to love all of his movies. And, you know, Christopher Nolan is one of my favorite directors, and I love all of his other movies. And this is probably my least favorite that he's made. But 
it, it is a very different movie for him. It, it, it's very ambitious and it's very well done. And I think that it, it is definitely worth seeing just because it is a Christopher Nolan movie and because of the story. It is an amazing story. It's, it feels very, uh, you feel captivated by it. I, I guess what I'm, the main point that I'm trying to say is I just wasn't emotionally, like, I, I, at the end of the movie, you're supposed to be like, you're supposed to feel the impact of what's happening. And I felt it a little bit, and I felt, oh, okay, I felt relieved. But I didn't feel like this emotional, like, yes, at the end of the movie, like, I feel like it was, you should have felt. And that was a little bit disappointing for me. Overall, though, I think that it was a very well-done movie. It looks fantastic. It's very well-directed. I mean, obviously, Christopher Nolan's great. I just didn't love it as much as everybody else seems to have loved it. I don't think it's a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination, but... It is probably my least favorite of his movies, and uh, I, I just can't see myself wanting to go back and watch it like all of his other movies because there's not as many layers to this movie as his other movies. But overall, I would definitely say that it's a good movie. I'm going to go three and a half out of five for Dunkirk. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. Maybe you guys agree with me, but yeah, you know, it's, it just wasn't, you know, so let me know what you think. I really am very curious to see what like people think about this movie and let me know what you think please comment below anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you like this and want to see more reviews from a guy like me tom waterloo then please like and share this video leave a comment down below and most importantly subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one